Hello everybody and welcome to G4G on YouTube. I'm Napalm Dawn and today we're talking about a game that I never really cover on the channel. However, it has been one of my favorite mobile games for a long time now and that is Final Fantasy Record Keeper. The reason why I'm covering this game is because unfortunately, like the video that I did on DC Worlds Collide a day or two ago, Final Fantasy Record Keeper is going to be stopping. So, unfortunately, FERC, as I like to call it, or FERC, is going to be ending at the end of September. I just happened to notice the announcement today because uh, this game is one of those ones where I log in every day to keep the streak going, but I don't necessarily pay attention and grind out in the game every single day. It's, it's uh, an incredibly easy game to just pick up and drop whatever you want. It doesn't demand... <laughs> Excuse me, it doesn't demand your attention, unlike, say, getting the Battle Pass in Diablo Immortal, or keeping your streak alive in the Marvel games and everything. Um, so I happened to be playing today, and I was like, wait a minute, important end of service. And I went, oh no, oh shit, is this doing it too? But yep, we regret to announce that we've made the difficult decision to discontinue Final Fantasy Record Keeper starting on September 29th. We are incredibly thankful to have enjoyed the support for so many of you for almost seven and a half years when the game launched on March 25th, 2015. So if you happen to be a Marvel Avengers Alliance fan on this channel and you're watching this, this game did overlap with the existence of MAA. This game was a, um, a very, very comfortable pillow or a very comfortable t-shirt. If you have those jeans or a t-shirt or some sweats that are just worn to the part where they're really, really smooth and they're really comfortable and they're one of your favorite pieces of clothing to put on when you're around the house, um, and you keep it as clean as possible, but it's just probably maybe a little faded, but it always feels just great. That's kind of what I think about Final Fantasy Record Keeper. It has been there for so long for me. It is, it is a comfortable t-shirt for me. And I'm going to show you my roster in a little bit, and then that might help understand how I feel about it. So, FERC was one of the first Square or Final Fantasy mobile games that I got into. There was the um, the Tap one where, um, I'm forgetting the name of it now, but it's the one where you, you build up units and eventually you may have like 50 units on your side of the screen and you could have like summoners and thieves and the black mages and the warriors and you just you just kept tapping them and tapping them and they did their attack and you fought bosses and you went through the lands of Final Fantasy that you knew well like Cornelia and everything um, I forget the name of All the Bravest Final Fantasy All the Bravest I think is what it was called so that was an early one and I got I, I did essentially quote unquote like beat that game and then Record Keeper came next. Record Keeper is so good because if you are a Final Fantasy fan, and I consider myself that as I played and beat one on the NES when it first came out, played and beat uh, American 2 or Final Fantasy 4 on the SNES multiple times, um, and then Final Fantasy American 6, well, I should say American 3 or World 6 beat that and play that on the SNES many, many times. That's actually one of my favorites is Final Fantasy 6. Everybody's like, oh, yeah, Final Fantasy 7 all the way. 6 is really, really good, and I would stack 6 up against 7 any day. 7 has its diehard fanboys, and rightfully so. I won't down or clown 7. But 6 is, of course, an amazing game. Um, and then I played 
and beat 7 on the PlayStation. Played but did not beat 8, but I am up to the final castle of the game. Played and beat 9 on the PlayStation. Played and beat 10 on the PlayStation 2 multiple times. Played but didn't beat 10 2. Um, hated 12. Absolutely hate Final Fantasy 12. Oh, Tactics. That's another one. Played and beat Final Fantasy Tactics several times. Um, played 12 and dumped it really early. Played and beat 13 and played and beat 13 2. Now, I know 13 2 does not get a lot of love, but I think 13 and 13 2 were actually really good. And one of my favorite all time tracks in Final Fantasy history comes from uh, 13 2. Let me see if I can find it. FF 13 2 Academia. So there's a couple different Academia themes, but there's one that is my absolute favorite. Let's see if it's this one. No, this one's cool, but that's not it. It's the more deserted Academia version. No, that's not it. I'm going to find it. I have to play this for you guys because it'll, it may be this one. This one. Oh, this track is so amazing. It's so peaceful. I, like, I feel that I could sleep to this track. So we're just going to have this in the background for a little bit here as we talk about Record Keeper. So Record Keeper has just been around for so long, and I've never spent money on this game, not even a dime. But the currency in this game, these crystal i mean look at my gold over here and look at my crystals i have never specifically tried to earn these but just by playing the game i have managed to uh do relic spins and everything everything that i've always wanted in this game has generally been available to me but so they have record dungeons power-up dungeons realm dungeons and event dungeons. This is where I spend most of my time is in events. I did a labyrinth today, and I'll show you guys where I am. Or not a labyrinth, excuse me. A nightmare dungeon. Um, crystal dungeons. Nightmare. And you can see I've got a bunch of the nightmares done. I do want to finish this before the game wraps up. I, I will get through all of these. As you can see, I my roster is definitely capable of going through the nightmare dungeons and I always considered that a feat that was a a high water mark for me or a you know a milestone to be able to get through the nightmare dungeons and some of that is based on the friends that I have and bringing in um, their warriors but if we were to look at my team over here going to be good. Okay, so we'll do it with growth eggs. So looking at my team, right now my main line has been Cloud, Sephiroth, Cecil, or Cecil, Tifa, and Gilgamesh. Tifa is really fucking good. My Tifa is incredibly um, decked out. She has God's Hand, she has Tifa's Gloves, she has this Laswell Insignia, She's using Gaia Rush and Meteor Crush because she has a bonus to Earth Damage. She has a whole bunch of Soul Breaks enabled. Um, Meteor Strike is the one that does a huge amount of damage for me if this stops loading over here. Um, Platinum Strike is really good, but it is my Meteor Strike over here is god the damage that the thing puts out i'll have to show you guys um sephiroth is also really really good for me his standard attacks just do a tremendous amount of damage and his soul breaks are pretty good but tifa is my soul break queen gilgamesh kind of maintains his own because he has a um uh, an attack called leeching leap that does a good amount of hit point return for the damage he's done. 
So over time, I've also had good Kelgers. Red has never really impressed me. Red 13, he has a lot of artifacts, but I can't really seem to get him to do that well. I have a good Ramza. I have a good Orlando. Of course, Sid, the Thunder God from Tactics. He, you know if you have him, he has to be a beast. He's earned it. Um, pretty good Rem as a summoner, and then things start to peter out a little bit with a Warrior of Light and Edgar from um, Final Fantasy VI, Renoa, Kane, Celis. I used Celis for quite some time. Uh, Lightning was building up for a little bit. Titus or Titus, Black Mage was really black and red. My black and red mages are way back at the beginning of the game for me. Um, same for Warrior a little bit. And then, I mean, look at this roster. This roster is just huge. What? Who is Master? Is that supposed to be a Master Warrior? Oh, Master Monk. That's right. Um, I mean, look at these classic characters like Matoya and Furia and Guy and Leon and Minwu. Uh, the Emperor. Cecil. Dark Knight version of Cecil or Cecil, Edward the Spoony Bard, Yang, Ridia the Summoner, Par Palam and Porum, Tella, Fusoya, Edge, Golbez, Sid with the Hammer, Rubicante. I mean, you have heroes, you have enemies. Go Go from Six, Gao, Setzer, Strago, Realm, Leo, General Leo, who is such an OP character. Um, and there of course rumors around on the net that you could find a way of reviving him the same way you could with Aerith or Eris. Um, Kate Sith, Angeal, Genesis, uh, from Crisis Core, Selfie, Irvine, Laguna, Ultimisha, Freya, Quinoa, or Quina, Elko, another summoner, Amaranth, Beatrix, I mean Beatrix was over always overpowered when you got to use her, and I'm sure I also have like Gafgarian and Miliadu, or I think I'm mispronouncing Miliadu wrong, but Saz, Hope, Fang, Sid, um, and then you get into the Final Fantasy Tactics ones, um, Miladu, Mont Blanc, Marsh, Kingdom Hearts characters like Riku and Roxas, Axel, Sora, which was a big deal when Sora got into Smash. And then you have um, some of the characters that are in the other Square mobile games like uh, Seraphi and Laswell and Tama. I mean, this, this roster is just absolutely incredible. And if I were to go over to... Uh, where is it that I can use... Oh, it's over up here in the item exchange. So if we were to go to the record lab, uh, this is where you can unlock some soul breaks and everything like that for your characters. It's another good place to see how many characters that you've got unlocked. However, that's not what I am looking for. I am looking for... Hmm. Yeah, see, uh, gems. This is the this is the purchase to play currency gems. I've never had any because I've I've never actually purchased any. Um, there is the there are these crystals that you can turn in to unlock heroes that you haven't earned, and I'm I'm forgetting. Um, where that is at the moment, because I haven't done it in a while. Okay, here we go. Soul of a Hero. So this is the total available roster in the game. And you can see how many I have unlocked. So far, I'm, I'm missing one. Olisale, who I believe is a 14 character. Yeah, he's online. Um... Rain is another one of the mo Rain and Finna are mobile characters. 
from um, one of the other Final Fantasy mobile games, not Morbius, because that game got killed, but the other one, the one that is turn-based and everything, then you have some of the original classic jobs like the Devout, the Drangoon, the Viking, the Ninja, the Berserker, Monk, and Gladiator. I have unlocked about 95-96% of the roster, including like Wedge and Biggs and everything like that, and most of the generic characters. It is... I'm going to definitely be sad to see this game go because it's, it's just been around for so long for me. It's not... I'm not going to sit here and say, oh god, I put in this incredible amount of effort and you know, all this uh, currency and everything like that. I spent so much money on it. That's it's so not true for me. I never spent a dime on this one. But it's still going to be really sad to see this game go. Because this has just been a part of my life daily for um, so many years now. And... The friends that I have in this game that I pull into battle with me, and I'll, I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment over here. And maybe I could show you the damage that my Tifa does, but probably not, um, because this is a this is a low difficulty run over here. But like, I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss the amount of effort that T. Oh, it's Kamari. Um, the amount of effort that Tifa puts at, into things and my Sephiroth too, they are just so strong and I'm going to miss these battles. I'm going to miss doing the Nightmare Dungeons. I mean, now that I have uh, parties that can go through the Nightmare Dungeons and everything like that, um... I really want to try and get that accomplished before the game ends in late September. That I can go through and get all of those records in there. And I mean, I'm still not anywhere near the top of what people can do in this game. I go over to the Final Fantasy Record Keeper Reddit, and it is amazing the, the loadouts and the kits these people have over there. I mean, I honestly look like I'm standing still next to a bunch of full throttle Ferraris when I, I see people talk about their teams on Reddit. Oh god, this is one of the worst bosses in 10. I remember this guy. <laughs> wow, this was, this was a really bad fight in Final Fantasy X. Um, I'm gonna have Sephiroth add some damage here too. Mostly I want this to be a Tifa showcase so you can see what her Meteor Strike does, but... Actually, I'm going to have my um, my main character do Haystega on my team over here when it comes back up. Just to speed things up a little bit. But if you've played 10, do you remember this fight? This fight, yeah, the Mord Absorption. Oh man, this was a rough fight in that game. Because if I remember correctly, um, he has Yuna in a cage, and whenever he gets hurt... Yeah, he just keeps taking life from uh, Yuna whenever he needs it, and this was a this was a, a pretty tough fight. Let me see if I have Tifa's Soul Break up yet. Oh yeah, here we go. This is it. Watch this. Uh, here is where you can bring in your friend. This two down over here. These are the friends that you make in the game and you can pull them in um, sort of like uh, agents in Marvel Avengers Alliance. God, I, God, look at that fucking damage. Oh man. It's just so good. So here we are going to bring in whatever friend the game picked for me over here. So that's not it. That's the Astoria Crystal. That's a little bit different. Who? Final Requiem. 
I wonder who Soul Break this is. I don't particularly recognize this character. It's a really good Soul Break, though. Yeah, that cross cleave was really rough in 10. I forget. I'm not, uh, because I've never fought this game, and this guy in Record Keeper, I'm not exactly too sure what the trick is for this particular uh, fight. I think we're getting it now. My Cecil's got a cool ability where um, he has the chance to duplicate his attacks and do them twice. So he actually, for a kind of a defensive character, he can put out a lot of damage with the equipment that he's set up for. But Tifa and Sephiroth are, are definitely some of my higher damaging characters in this party. I don't actually run with my main character that much. He was able to spend about maybe 85% of my game life being in every single party and then I just recently, um, well a couple years ago, swapped him out and have other characters there instead and kind of don't use the main character that much anymore. But yeah, this is Final Fantasy Record Keeper. It is a, a shame to see it go because anytime you're a fan of a series, especially long-running series like, say, Street Fighters or Mortal Kombat or Final Fantasies or... Uh, I, I guess even Mass Effect, but that's only three games. I mean, any game series that has existed for such a long time, and it's really hard to top that for Final Fantasy if you think about it. Do you not love playing a game where you can collect so many characters from so many of the games that you played and get them together in parties and, and fight bosses and creatures that you've spent decades fighting against. I guess like fans of the Dw the Dragon Quest series probably feel the same way with all the Dragon Quest games that come out. But when you have this ability to just mix and match over decades worth of games and literally 15 games worth plus Kingdom Hearts plus Zero plus tactics. I mean, this game could exist forever because they can bring in some um, Stranger Unknown or characters and everything like that. And then 16, Final Fantasy 16 is on the way. They could bring in 16 characters and as Final Fantasy 14 gets expansion packs, they can bring in characters from 14's plot. Um, and then you have all these weapons that are so well known, like this one is Organics. I mean, if you played the Final Fantasy games, you know that one. This is Excalipur, another well-known um, weapon. A, a lot of the generic weapons I uh, don't own anymore, they've been used to buff... Uh, but there, there's Excalibur, I think there's an Engine Blade down here from 15. Uh, let's see some other name. Defender is it been in so many games. Uh, this Defender over here has been in a bunch. Um, Balthier's gun is in here somewhere. There's Kaldbalg from 10. Iconic weapon. Uh, everybody knows that one that's played 10. Um, let's see if there's some others here. Zansetsuken. I mean, that's Odin's blade. That's Odin's ability. Sasuke's blade. Uh, let's see. I'm sure there's definitely others here that are well known. I mean, even the generic equipments like the Hypno Crown. Um, there's one of Sephiroth's katanas. They, I, I've got a Keyblade in here 
from uh, Kingdom Hearts. Tifa is wearing the God Hand gloves, which was well known. There's title knuckles for Riku. There's just so much in this game. Kaiser Knuckles, I mean, Kaiser Knuckles has been in several uh, Final Fantasy games and everything like that. And rods and staves and bows and Waka's balls and, and boomerangs and everything like that. Just so much iconic stuff is in here. And it's a shame that it's going, and I don't know why. I wish I knew that they're not really saying why it's going under, but when you see a game that's been around for seven and a half years and you see them decide to kill it, that's rough. You know a game like this has got a huge fan base. So I'm definitely going to keep playing this game until the last day. I'm going to try and get through all of those nightmare dungeons there and have all of those abilities unlocked. Should be doable. I usually don't have... Too many problems with the nightmare dungeons the original story dungeons i mean i made so much progress in the story dungeons over the years um because you you need them to unlock like certain characters and everything when you look at the story dungeons uh let's see if i can get you that view so yeah um these characters can all be you know purchased with those crystals that i've showed you but if you wanted to do this the old-fashioned way and say you wanted to get Gilgamesh, you had to follow this huge chain over here. So this is essentially like the plot, dungeons, and everything. And I mean, it's, it's just immense. And the reason why it's immense is because it can pull from any of the final, any of the square games in their universes. So there's one, there's two... Um, there's four. There's Final Fantasy for the After Years. Five. There's seven. Excuse me, that was six. This one's seven. There's eight. There's ten. There's eleven. There's thirteen. Realm Reborn for fourteen. Fifteen. Tactics. Zero. And then back around to Final Fantasy XIV again. I mean, just tremendous, tremendous loss. However, some people on the Final Fantasy Record Keeper Reddit are saying that Octopath Traveler may wind up being a decent replacement for it. And I actually have Octopath Traveler installed on another one of my um oh that sucks maybe it's not yeah it may not be compatible with this blue stacks but i have it i have it on a blue stacks on a different computer so let's see manage installed yeah recently updated now it's not listed here but um I do have it, and let's see, ah, there we go, this will list it, and if I sort it by recently added, there it is, Octopath Traveler, so um, one of my blue stacks has it, one of my um, mobile devices has this installed on it, so I'm going to be giving it a try, and I'm going to see what it's like, and maybe I'll be able to cover that game in the future, but until then... I will catch you guys later in the next video I do will either be on Octopath Traveler or we have some discussing of Diablo Immortal to talk about considering the runaway amount of money that that game is making Blizzard. So take care everybody. See you in the next video.